Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of Shadowrun Hong Kong, the now enhanced edition. Uh, when we last left off, we just picked up Raktor, one of my favorite characters of the game here. Um, and with a new character, we have to choose his uh, first little ability here. As you can see, he's labeled as a rigger. Uh, not bad to have at all, really. And he's actually going to be pretty keen for the next job we'll be doing. Um, with Raktor, we have two choices to go down. And basically, it goes down the rest of the game, really. We basically can go melee or ranged. Ranged melee. Um, that's a sword in the arm. Do we have five rounds? Three rounds. Hmm. I think. Hmm. I think what we're gonna do this round is we're actually gonna play. Raktor's drone more melee orientated, as I've usually always built it pretty much the range build. So we'll give this melee a bit of a try, try to enhance my own combat with a bit of the drones. Anyway, um, let me last left off, talked to a few people, got told that we can now take Shadowrun jobs. So. Let's check our inbox for new messages. I have six unread messages. Uh, welcome to Hoi. Just good old like tutorial stuff. Here is your thing. Here is your thing. Here are the people. And then we've got the jobs here. We got serial killer. I should be going a bit slower. I won't be reading these out just because it'll take too long. But I'll leave it for a good couple of seconds. And you can read it yourself. Uh, okay, take that run. Back to the root. Now, another good thing about this is you can accept multiple jobs at the same time. So, inbox and new messages. See? Still here. Artifact preparation. Uh ba ba bum ba 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 bum more corporate backstabbing interesting stuff interesting stuff Gotta go steal some books Take the run Don't fuck up uh, new messages, and last one, do you meant to sabotage? Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, 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 you take that job. So again, not going to read it out for you because that would just, once again, take forever. And in terms of the Shadowland stuff, uh, we won't be coming here often, only we pick up paid data. This stuff is more lore based, and I won't be bothering it too much. So basically, it's a little bit of behind the scenes knowledge. Uh, a few of it has a little bit of interest. Um, reports like this pop up every so often. And it's basically foreshadowy stuff that you really get an appreciation for once you take a game or two through. But uh, if there's any particular thread that I will be reading out for you, it will be this one. The Poetry Slam thread. Ladies and gentlemen, poets and Shadowrunners, welcome to the first annual Shadowland Poetry Slam. There are no rules, and there are also no prizes, except for bragging rights. With further ado, let the versification begin. Matrix Bard. So, uh, how long do you think we can keep this going before the trolls show up or the Sadsmen shut us up down? Why would they shut us down? It's a free board. We can be poetic if we want to. 
Uh, trust me. Just, it happens. For some reason, these things always draw the worst sort of attention. Are you gonna give us a poem, or are you gonna stand around complaining about why you can't? Alright, I've got one. Wait for it. Synth muscle. Smart links. Neural boosters. Cyber limbs. Or fall to grenades. A little musing on the transience of life in the shadows. Very nice, sir. When the shadow long shadows fall on Hong Kong, neon lights pierce the coming night. Tread with me in the velvet blackness. Let no lamp shine on your deeds. That one's entitled, Our Hour. That might have just been the most pompous thing I've ever read. <laughs> Try this one on for size. Lasers are red, shadows are black. With Matt on the street, you'd best watch your back. My poem wasn't pompous. You're an uncultivated rube. It was a homage to Wang Wei, the famous Tang Dynasty master of the Zhuzhu form of poetry. Or Zhezhu form of poetry. It's traditional, unlike that ridiculous limerick that you posted. Now, now, I don't think you have to take the word slam quite so literally. Hey, you people know the rules. Poetry slams have been out of bounds on the BBS since the Laughing Man debacle of 55. If you want to sling your fancy words, do it on a different form. I'm shutting this thread down. Told you. No more posts in this thread. There you go. That was the uh, poetry slam. We'll be there'll be a couple more of those, and uh, trust me, they they keep getting better. All right. So now we've got a couple of jobs to do. Uh, we're gonna do them. And we already talked to Spider Shen. And I'm not gonna go talk to the troll family just yet. There's one more person though that I wanna see in this building here. Never mind, Kaifi. Cafe, cafe, I believe. Hey, you in charge here? Well, don't you forget it. My place. Me, my husband, and our two boys. What do you got for sale? Let's take a look. Alright, she's the uh, gun dealer of the main hub. You can pretty much buy any gate here. Gate, uh, weapon here, anytime, for any goods for a bit. I'm not too interested in really what she has available. I figured that I might have a wear outfit aside from that, but nah, I don't really like it too much. Alright. For now, we'll just go on with a job. And, uh. Actually, no, before we go do that, we'll go talk to this one last person. Someone who's actually pretty and, uh, important for our future life being. And another one of my favorite NPCs of this game. Uh, press the buzzer. What do you want? Uh, is this some knock knock? I need some medicine? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Listen, guy, I don't know you. I don't like people. I don't know. What are you doing here? Who sent me? Kindly will vouch for me. Yeah? You just idle your engine there for a minute, and I'll go check on that. Looks like, uh, we passed. Ooh, look at this place. There we go, 10 armed Ambrose. Looks like he's seen better days. Severely crippled Caucasian man sits in a wheelchair. He's clearly hung over. Look at that. I just love that design. Chiefly in English, his words piling together in loose metronius. They call me Ten Arms. Welcome to the Kong, fellow UCA Essian. <laughs> Kindly says you're all right. What can I do for you? You're a doctor? Sure I am. I'm a rigger, a rigger doctor, a rockter. Oh man, I cannot laugh hard today. Too much partying last night. It hurts. I'm not board certified, but don't worry. I should be. 
I'm full on skilled. My work's yellow lotus guaranteed and precisely in accordance with the World Medical Association standards. Everybody in Hoi comes to me because I'm the only option. Very well, Rockta. Right on. Let's get you tricked out. Unless you just want to bullshit, which I'm down for. Yeah, show me your services. Sure thing. Tune up or spare parts? Nah, not much of a cyber wearer. Show me your medical supplies. Alright, here we go. That's what he's got. Um, I'm actually going to up now while I have the chance. Sell this machete. And I should be good on everything else at the moment. Uh, we'll talk more with him later on. Once again, another situation where I'm going to spend more time talking. But for now, I think I've done plenty of time just mucking around the main hub. So, let's actually get to a job. Alright. And the first job I always take, because it's just probably the best one to take as your first job. Probably, I would say. But there is another job we could do early that wouldn't be terrible. Hmm. No, no, we're gonna we're gonna do this one first. We're gonna go do the museum job. All right. Now, in this case, we can take a full crew of four, including ourselves. And once again, you always get presented with this screen when you take on a job, but this time we have uh, paid mercenaries that we can have paid for us. And, you know, it's not bad to do. They're usually pretty good for the most part, but the mains are always better. So who will be taken for this one will be Isabel, Ractor, and Gobbit. And it's this sort of crew that will probably give you the best result when going to... Oh, wait, no, not this. Well, this crew will work pretty well, too. Um, I'm thinking of a different miss mission. In this case, uh, we'll swap Ractor out for Duncan. Yep, Empress Tomb. Here we go. And here we go to a loading screen. Now, I believe the last time I disappeared for a good while, I would continue explaining uh, what I've been doing and why I've been gone for so long. Well, uh, I believe the first time I got I was talking about how I got back into Pokemon. Well, the second thing I got into during my first extended break period was uh, Polter's Gate 1, Hands Edition. Boy, the rest of that story is going to be coming in a bit later. But, uh, needless to say, I got pretty sucked into it when I never usually got sucked into it before. Uh, there's us with our shitty clothing. Can't change theirs. All coming with this. Gobbit's beautiful, beautiful, not Gobbit, Isabelle's beautiful, beautiful grenade launcher. Everything else seems pretty legit. Alright, let's just go. game is auto-saved. We have karma to spend. Will we be spending of it? No. Karma clicks into use. Good. Now be appraising that you choose see from through this floor. Grab the best stuff. You know, I've always wanted to do something like this. What do you mean? These artifacts have all been stolen from the earth, so now we get to teach a lesson to the man who's been excavating it, that these were never truly his. Yeah, alright, but we're thieves ourselves, so we're stealing things from one man, only to give them to another man, and these artifacts don't belong to him either. Oh, he'll get what he deserves too. Objects like these are too bright to remain in some vault or display case. More thieves will be drawn to them like moths to a dido. 
Let's just be excited to be a part of the cycle. Sure thing, Gobbit. Sure thing. Alright, here we go. There's a bunch of optional objectives there that if we start completing, we'll get more money from. And we can see right away... Oh, another optional objective. Don't trip the alarm. We can see right away that there's a ley line here. And that sort of tips us off a bit that there's a bit of combat ahead. Anyway, let's walk into here. Face, Neanderthal skeleton, urn, power plant, ash, replica. Alright, well, we're definitely going to grab this. As you can see, we can only steal up to 10 things. Definitely not going to steal that, because it's got no value. This jawbone, however, is good money. Alright, we're going to come back to this room in a bit. Just because I want to make sure I'm getting the best value for my robin here. Alright, got a replica skull there, mummified head, and dragon scales. So we'll grab the dragon scales. And the mummified head. Uh, we'll leave the raptor replica there. And uh, before I forget, just write on a quick save. Oh, won't let me. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, Alright. Let's see, got a bookshelf here. Tension 3, look at the books. Uh, oh, no, probably nothing else. Strength 5 for anything unusual there. Which we're currently sitting at strength four. So, before we spend any karma, we'll just see if there's anything we can do here. Uh, Lady of Shallows, 1888. Interesting. Terminal, access the login field. Hmm. Hey, Isabel. Can I get a hand with this? Thanks. Access to room controls. Ambience candlelight. Ambience business casual. Restricted access laojang. Ambience candlelight? Hmm. Business casual. Huh. Interesting. Dajing? Hey, why is this menu still locked? Got any good guesses? No. No, I don't. Alright. File system. Museum details. Chow. Cho. Uh. Of course, building costs. Ching Lao, Ganshin, Enterprises. Uh, let's see, on site accident. It's a quiet fay. Melissa and attracting investment. Self. Nothing there. Remote building controls. No access available. Hmm. All right. Let's leave that be for now. Um. Uh, now. For the life of me, I can't actually remember that password. So what we'll be doing is we'll be throwing that save here. No problems. It's like, I can't remember if this screws with the alarm or not. I don't think it does. 
what we're doing. Go here. And we're actually now gonna spend some of that karma. Uh, don't be too hard. Too surprised. It's going to basically something we'd be putting the point into anyway down the line. And we've still got seven left over to play around with when the time comes. If anything, it's just enhancing our raw damage potential. So let's uh, try and rip this door away. Or punch right through it, I guess. Anything in here? No. What about here? What's this? Firearms or relics as well as maybe of value to a history possessor. Professor. Not possessor. Ah, here's some of the good stuff. A mystic staff worth 2,600. And some special pottery. Okay, and that is sort of about when we break the first threshold, we got a free karma point. So, we just need something that's worth 800 at minimum. So, let's grab this, uh, there, get an extra point of karma, and for the fun of it, we'll just steal this one here, get a little bit of extra pay dirt, uh, but already making up a good portion of that karma we spent. Alright, and let's see, what's over here? Oh, the... That is a different room. Security terminal. Can we do anything with it? Nothing. That's... that's fine. I'm pretty sure that only comes into play if we accidentally trigger the alarm. Alright, time to go down a floor. Game saved for us, that's always nice. Uh, and something on the wall here to check out. Do not enter. Oh, time to break that rule. Oh, right. I'm so used to pressing the M button and getting a map. Um. Oh, what do we got here? Well, there's our first ancient book. I believe there's one more that we were meant to find. So let's see if we can find it. So far, pretty much a cakewalk. Anything over here? Ah, there's a matrix port. So let's just shipping terminally. Eh? Let's get Jet as well as Jack in. These pop up more and more as the game goes through, but there's always pretty much during every mission a point to Jack in, and this is the mini game here. Now, it's been a while, so let's see if I can do this right. Oh, I fucked up there. That's okay. I can play this off. I think. This usually always happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run over here. Program it. Oh, I missed. That's probably not good. But we can do this. Catch ourselves in plasma. Should be fine. Uh, not as fine as I was hoping it to be. Okay, so we've got a bit of system trace going on there. No big deal. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sniff a program. Then we're going to blast it with an 84% chance to hit, and it's going to die, making life just a little bit easier. Alright, I'm just going to run right on through here, into this corner here. Wait for this to make the pullback. Oh, shit. That's okay, we're just going to run right on through. I will admit I am not the most elegant 
uh, when it comes to these. But I'm usually pretty good at brute forcing my way through the problem. So that's something. Alright, so here we're gonna go here first. Here it says there's a bunch of spells blocked into here. So you cause the system trace on failure, or you can just force it for 50. Now, forcing it for 50 will unfortunately <laughs> fuck us up and cause us to have problems. Set the alarm off and everything. So we're just gonna block it, hack it. So we get a little minigame in here. Um, basically, it's a match thing. So you put in codes here to boost your time here so that you can try and match the code that slowly starts appearing here up with the codes here. Oh, hiccup, sorry. You'll see it once we begin the practice. One, one, five, nine, two. All right, and that should be enough. So here we go. But you see. All right, let's go uh, get these this type of spells. Wild aim. We'll take that, and can we give it to our character? I'm not sure. I don't think we can. I don't think we've got enough spell casting to use it. Oh, oh, we got spotted. Okay. So in that case, we're gonna just try and blast it. Get rid of it real quick. Ah, oh, but then we get fucked with that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reduce our system trace by 50 before we get busted. We're gonna drop the sniffer program. We're gonna blast it for 100. But we miss! Oh, that's not good. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna blast it. 50. Not much we can do. Um, except try and hit it this time. There we go. Once again, almost fucking up horribly, but not quite. So in case I mark this up, once again, as promised during the start of all this, I'm not afraid to save scum. Do you know the minigame? We'll get it done real quick this time. As I said, real quick. Alright, that, that's free data. And a little extra karma. There we go. That's three of the five karma we spent so far. Back. That's pretty good if you ask me. Now I'll just throw down another save. And we'll continue looking for this last book. Oh, there's a bit of blood there. And what looks like a summoning rock. Why is there a... Oh! That's a gargoyle. Okay. So now... We've got to start setting up. There's a bell. You can go here in half cover. And switch to a grenade launcher for a 26% shot. Well, we hit something in the shade there. Interesting. Gobbit, you're going to dash the cover here for me. And you're going to fire off an aimed burst. 10% chance to hit. Get nothing. Mm, it's expected. Duncan. Duncan, 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 I need you to move here for me. Now, you're not likely to hit too well, so we'll just hit you up in Overwatch. And we'll set my guy up to Overwatch as well. Oh! That doesn't look good.
That is a preternatural corpse. Well, that's a problem we're going to have to deal with in the next video. See you then.